hello everyone welcome back to the channel uh, in today's video we are going to talk about a scenario based sql questions i got this question from one of the our uh, channel subscriber and i found it very good and i think this is a medium co medium complex question and these guys kind of questions are asked in like uh, product based companies amazon facebook google so uh, we will go step by step and see how we can solve it okay so let's start it so here's the question so this is my input data set and this is my output so here's what the scenario is so there is a company uh, in that company this company allows only one entry to their employees in a day so what happened is if a person name a can enter only once in the company but uh, while entering they have to give their email id okay but the loophole is if the same person gives another email id he can enter again okay so for uh, for example name a a person entered three times you see with the different email ids and this is the floor where they visited and also what resources they used inside the campus similarly person b visited thrice now uh, they got to know that this is a loophole and they wanted to check that which person has visited how many times and which floor so basically they they want this output name of each person okay total number of times the person visited so both of them visited three times now they also want to know which floor they visited the most so a visited twice if you see floor one floor one and b visited uh, floor two twice so they want to know which floor they visited most so a visited floor one two time uh, most of the time and uh, uh, this visited two times okay also they want to know which resources they used so cpu and desktop and this person desktop and monitor okay so this is the question basically now uh, how we have to solve this so there are two things first thing is we have to have a filter on the floor that which floor the person visited the most that is one thing which is at floor level but the total visits and resource used at our overall level right so overall which uh, how many total visits and which resources are used so what we will do first we will we will uh, find at flow level that which flow the person visited most and then in another ct we will find out the resources and total visits and then we will join them so let's start so this is my data okay so what i will do i will quickly select name comma uh, floor okay so i have to find out which floor he visited the most so i will do count one okay and then for that i have to do group by name and floor okay so this will give me so uh, number of floor visit right this is number of floor visit so person a visited floor one two times and person a visited floor two one time and similarly this okay also so this we got it right but we have to find out that which floor they have visited the most so what we will do we will do a rank so we will find out we will give rank to this one and so this is how we will do count one this is number of floor visit and then i will say rank okay. over partition by partition by name because for each name i want to find the rank order by count one descending right i will say rn if i run this now so if you see person a got rank one for the floor one where he visited twice again person b visited floor two twice he got the rank one so we can simply filter on rank equal to one and we will get the floor which each person has visited most so i will just do this uh, i will just put it in a ct 
with flow widget as this and select star from flow widget pairs r then equal to 1 right so we got person a visited uh, per, uh, flow 1 and most number of times and person b flow 2 okay so now again we look at the question so we need name total widgets most visited flow so most visited flow we got so let's do this we will put select uh, let's alias it fb fb dot name comma fb dot as most visited flow right okay so we have to take flow here as most visited flow right if i run this so a most visited flow is one and for b most visited flow is two okay now rest of the two things we need uh, total visits and resources used so for that what we will do we will drive that separately because that is at a name level each employee level right so what i am going to do let's find it first select name comma sources from uh, entries okay by name so what we have to do we have to find list of resources right so there is a string aggregate function so i will use a string agg what it will do it will aggregate all the strings okay by comma okay so if i run this i will get this right so i need count also count one as total visits right if i run this now i got uh, name wise total visits and resources used as resources used okay okay so i will just cut it and i will make a ct of it with uh, total visits as this right and then this is my second city what i will do i will join here i'll join on uh, total visits okay uh, let's name is as tv so fb dot on name i will join equal to um, tv dot name then we will get the two columns that we required from tv tv dot total visits comma uh, tv dot resources used If I run this now, so we got that person A most visited flow this one, total visits three, and resources used this, right? So similar. Now there is one problem in this now. If you see the CPU is repeating because we had three entries, so they were like test. Uh, he visited, he used desktop twice, but in the in the result we won only once. So what we can do, so in some of the database like redshift you have a distinct function here distinct you can do and it will give you distinct value but here uh, in the sql server this is not there if i run this it will give me error so if i run this this is giving me syntax error so this will not work 
right so what we can do we can drive this as a separate city so instead of here only what i will do uh, uh, resources all resources or distinct resources you can say as select distinct name comma resources from entries right and then uh, comma aggregated resources as select so this will give me distinct values let's see the result of this okay so what i will do now we have only ones because i am doing distinct select now from this i will take name and here i will do string aggregate resources comma resources and i want to put comma right as used sources from 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 listing resources to by name okay, so if i run this select from aggregate resources so you will see we got what we needed so oh, we, we there are no duplicates now okay so what i'm going to do is i will join this back so i will do inner join aggregate resources on everything is joined on name fb dot name equal to aggregate resources dot name and resources used i will take from aggregate resources right resources used so if we see the result uh, i think uh, there is some syntax error line by Okay, there is a comma missing. Invalid column name resources used. Uh, so distinct used resources. Okay. 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 So we got the answer. So we have uh, name, most visited flow, total visits, and CPU, and used resources. Right. All the distinct uh, uh, used resources. So that is what. the ask was so i hope this is clear uh, it, it is a little complex query but you go step by step it will be very it becomes very simple uh, you have to practice these kind of queries i will put the create table and the insert statement in the description box i would suggest that you create table and insert the data and then try this thank you for watching it uh, please like and subscribe to the channel thank you